Hello, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It is well over two weeks since Mia's birthday, and we are still receiving gifts. What do you think, honey girl? She's afraid of the balloons, you guys. Never seen this before. So her other godmother, who we love so much, Jules. But oh, she bought her two bucks, three bucks. Uh, we love these. Look, honey. Wait, come over here. Come sit right here. Look what Auntie got you. Okay, we'll take the balloons. It says Happy Birthday. <gasps> You want to feel the texture? You love a textured book. Touch and feel. Farm. Which animal is furry and fast? It's a horse. It's a horse. What is what is rubbing and rubbling? It's Farmer Ted's tractor. Which animal is fluffy and feathery? It's a... Chicken. Which animal is loud and brown? It's a... Rooster. <laughs> Which animal is yappy and happy? It's a... Which animal is messy and muddy? Pig. Oink, oink, oink. This is so lovely. Which animal is lumpy and bumpy? It's a... Frog. Which animal is soft and sweet? Duck. Swirly, whirly. Which animal is curly and swirly? It's a sheep. Which animal is spotty and dotty? It's a cow. Oh. Is that not so sweet? We love that. You can see things to Auntie Jules, okay? And she bought another one. One thing the aunties are going to do is make sure you have some books. i to read to you. This book is I Love Us. Let's see what it says. I love when we play and make each other laugh. I love when we sing and dance. Acting silly together always feels right. I love when we share a snack. Next to you, my heart always smiles. I love when we are who we are because you make me happy. I love us. It's so short and sweet. I love that. I love that. This one says surprise party. Cookie Monster is having a surprise birthday party for Big Bird. Happy birthday! Cookie Monster decorates with colorful balloons and a birthday sign. Cookie Monster sets out healthy snacks. He also bakes a sweet treat, cookies. 
Everyone shows up to celebrate their friend. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to my Tuki Bear! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> oh, I love these. You can say thank you to Auntie. What about the one with the texture, honey? Look. Look, can you feel here? Hold on. Look at the finger we made her. Can you feel it? Oh, you love it, Dexter. Look at this one. Touch that one. Yeah. Look at the wheels on the truck. Feel that one. Good job. Look at the chicken. Feel that one. Good. Good job, honey. Look at the dog's belly. It's just scratchy. Yeah. Look at the pig's belly. Good job. Look at the frog's belly. Good job. Ducks like a daddy. Can you touch your duckie's belly? No. Look at the sheep's hair. This sheep has beautiful curly whirly hair like yours. Ooh. And the cow's belly. Oh, we love that. We have to say thank you to Auntie. Huh? Alright, let's turn Miss Rachel on. You guys, um, her godmother bought these. Jalissa. Jody bought her um books with the same type of uh textures on it too and i love those books because she's so intrigued by it because we had one before that's like furry and like hairy and stuff and she absolutely loved it i love these books and we love the gift that auntie jules sent and one of her birthday outfits auntie jules also bought that one too and i can't i feel like i can't say this enough i love how my friends show up for my children always checking on them always asking how everything is going with them always showing up for them in a the what we consider the biggest or the smallest ways possible and i'm forever grateful because we have friends who don't care about our kids or care what we have going on in our lives and i feel like i couldn't have chosen better godmothers for mia because her godmothers really show up for her in every single way every single day okay she wants to be wild anyway um i'm just going through and like cleaning up today is sunday i'm going through and cleaning up um because I'm going to take the trash outside. And it's very early. It's 7.45 p.m. I'm taking it out from early. This is my weekend off. I'm off tonight. I'm taking it out from early. And I'm going to cook something. And me and I are going to just chill for the evening. I'm going to have a little glass of wine. She's had a fever the last two days. But she feels okay right now. Also, this outfit that she's wearing, one of my friends at work bought it for her. Stand up, honey. So cute. She bought her quite a few outfits okay. this one is so stunning and i love all the outfits that she bought for her and she bought them in 12 months yeah. and so we yeah. gotta put them on her but even i dress mia up every single day because she has so many outfits and we don't really go anywhere really so every day we put a new outfit on and she's dressed up and cute inside of the apartment and it's okay all right we're gonna turn mr rachel on i'm gonna finish what i'm doing okay honey so you can sit and watch her we should give you a diaper change so we'll do that okay Come on, let's do the diaper change first. I always keep the gift bags because I love them and I love reusing a gift bag. So we're going to take the balloons off and we're not going to keep the balloons, sadly, because she's afraid of them. Look, we're, we're popping it, honey. I know we have some... We, we still have the balloon arch up here from Mia's birthday that I'm, I'm, I'm going to take that apart right now, actually. So we're going to take that apart. And you guys are going to see. I need something sharp to pop the balloons with.
I need to get a new curtain rod for this window because this one has been bent since my mom left because her and me are in here all the time and Mia loves people watching so when she's by the window she like pulls on the curtain and it like bends because that one was very cheap so maybe I'll buy a really decent quality one now. I should have put them in one place and pop them from the beginning. Turns out the more, turns out the more air in the balloon, the further apart the pieces are flying. But now I'm going to pick up the pieces, gather the trash together, take them downstairs, and the living room is going to be clean and birthday stuff free and just back to how it normally was. Mia has her little car over here with all of her um, toys and everything. At the end of the night, I pack all her toys in there and I keep it nice and covered. So... I thought my OCD is not triggered and like they're all contained, but also it's fine, you know? She lives here and her things live here too. You see, I love these little ones that are like shapes or whatever. I bought quite a few of these for her birthday. That when you pop it, it doesn't go anywhere. It just stays there and like, you know, deflates. But, um, we're going to clean up. I said I was going to do some laundry for her. I still didn't get to that. I was wondering if I would have done it now. And I mean, I, I possibly could. I don't really know. I kind of like having everything clean though. And I just got back some um, stain remover for her. And I love to have the stain remover when I'm doing... Hold on now. I just got another stain remover for her and I love to have this stain remover when I'm doing her laundry because her little clothes be having like small food stains on there and I love taking it out because um, I am so grateful that everybody buys me things when they buy her but also I'm a part of the culture that um, hands things down because why should you need to spend all this money and all these things when somebody else has it and could give you and that's just me some people don't feel like that and that's okay too but that's how I feel. And my sister is having a baby and while she didn't tell me because her and I are not on talking terms right now family stuff okay um my mom told me and so i want to be able to save all of me as little things so um baby girl could have those as well because i think that's very cute and like you know it's so nostalgic but um yeah and i also remember when i was growing up i used to get a lot of my sisters um hand me down so it's like a thing you know well, I'm going to clean up and I'm going to turn her show on and let her watch out, change her diaper and stuff. And we'll see you guys later. You guys, today we went by her godmother's house. We were supposed to have a picnic, but then it ended up raining. So we just went by Jewel's house and we, we went to Costco, went bought pizza, went by Jewel's house and we chilled for a little bit. I ended up falling asleep and everything. And then we just came home and it was a nice little getaway and like a good way to spend my weekend off. Or to close it out.